This is Professor Jimenez, and today we're going to see how uh, the instructions move LW, which is this one in marked in green, how move LW and move WF are used to store uh, constant into a run memory location. And we will see in the block di diagram how that uh, data flows. So first we create a constant with move LW, this is a constant, and the opcode, it is this, one, one, four zeros, and this is a constant, which is um, is made of eight bits, okay? Once you have that, that constant stored into W, then you have to transfer that data uh, from W to a file that you need, and and here you specify the address of that of that file where you want to store it and this is the the data the, the opcode and right here you define with seven bits a uh, maximum 100 of uh, 128 different run memory locations or files where we want to store it so to see how that works uh, in the block diagram using both instructions move lw and move wf and we will go to the block diagram on page uh, 20 and here in the block diagram you have the flash the, the program counter which is addressing uh, as it says here it is uh, addressing your memory location or where where the code is so once the instruction move lw is stored here the instruction reg takes the opcode and the opcode uh, travels from here to here, to the instruction register. And the constant, the constant travels uh, this way also, and the eight bits travel this way through the this multiplexer, through the arithmetic logic unit to the working register. So the data, the, cons the constant that you are generating is, it is a store there. Now, now you want to move that data to a uh, memory location in, in the in this uh, memory in this run memory so to do that to, to show that i will change the color to let's say this this color gold okay so now you have here the cons the contents and the contents now travel this way from w they go this path through the arithmetic logic unit and then travels this way through the data bus okay and through the data bus continue continues its its a flow and then reaches the ram memory in which in what location is that going to be stored in the location that you were addressing when you said move the move uh, w to f so and you are specifying an address for example address number 40 so uh, the the address the direct uh, address number 40 will travel here to the address max and will go here so you have location 40 the data is is transferred the data in w and remember that in green we have the instruction uh, and the, the instruction which is decoded and in the opcode and the constant first was transferred to w then from w uh, travel this way all the way to the ram to the ram memory so uh, this is something that i want to that i wanted to clarify because many many times when you are uh, writing code you need to understand how the data flows and so so once you 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 have this very clear you are ready to to um, start writing code in a in a better way because you now you're understanding how the, the the data flows internally so i just wanted to explain that and of course uh, there are many other instructions that, that i will be uh, lec lecturing on how they are performed and uh, and also uh, even when you don't see here the 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 ports, port A, port B, port C, from that uh, from a specific micro, uh, those ports have a, a memory location. So in in and they are in the PMR. So these uh, P 
PMR controls the, the, the one of the three ports, and that's how you now you can move data from W to a port. Okay, but that will be in another lesson. Thank you, and that's all for today. Thank you.